Hi guys, thank you for watching Adipedia World videos. We'll see about the recurring transaction today. A recurring transaction is found in sales module and there are two menu items that are regarding this particular concept of recurring transaction. First is recurring transaction, second is recurring transaction template. Here you define your templates that contains all the sales document. A template can be of sales order, delivery, return and down payment, AR invoice and other things as well. Let's see about the highlights of a recurring transaction. Now certain businesses, the transaction within the business, they repeat themselves on a regular basis. For example, every month the company may order a stack of printing papers or uh, maybe some stationary items, maybe some uh, refreshment items for the staff. Now in SAP Business One, you can define templates for such a recurring transaction using your regular sales and uh, purchasing documents and they will be in draft mode. But here we will be seeing only for the sales transactions. So the template contains the required business partner from which you are getting the stuff or for which you are paying the stuff and uh, the items, accounting, shipping information and other things as well. You can define the recurring details or when should the documents be auto generated and uh, there are other things as well that we will learn in the videos. Let's see about the scenarios of uh, a recurring transaction with respect to sales. The transaction type can be daily, it can be every other day, it can be within every 10 days, it can be on every Monday, it can be on the every 15th of the month or it can be once per quarter. Now you can define the system does not limit you to define on Monday but just it is just an example that we will be seeing in the coming slides. Let's see the introduction to the sales recurring transaction. This is my recurring transaction template window. Now creating recurring transaction templates. In the template column you can enter the name for the template that you want to. In the type column you can give the type of the document that you want to have as a recurring transaction. In our case, we'll be selecting sales order first. There is a recurring experience. There is a recurring date. Now you can place your cursor on the document number and you can just tab out. Or if you know the document number, you can just key in the document number. The application list gives a list of the document drafts that are available for the selected document type. You can select a document draft or create a new by choosing the new button as well. Now if you decide to create a new document draft, the respective documents open and you can enter the relative customers or the vendor data, the item data and other logistic and accounting information. You can also specify the recurrence details such as the recurrence period or the recurrence date. You can also choose what should be the, the last date or what is the validity of this recurrence. You can see these are the documents that can be used for the recurrence transaction but we will be dealing with only this block as we are dealing with sales recurring transaction. Now when I tab out here in the document number I am getting this window. I can either select any of these or I can choose to say I want to create a new and this is my sales order template. You can see the template and the name of the template has been here. This template on adding does not demand any delivery date and the system won't stop you uh, for adding this template. So we have taken our customer, we have taken our item number. Let's create it by pressing add. You can see that 
the sales order and the template of the sales order number 373 has been created and has been assigned to the first line of recurring transaction template. We can see that the recurrence period is can be weekly, can be daily, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually or it can be even one time. The recurrence date can be on Sunday, Monday or any of the days of your week. Let's see about the general settings, what we have to do with the general settings. Display recurring posting on execution and display recurring transaction on executions. Now all recurring posting for the processing on today's date will be displayed to the user that will be responsible for these sales documents. Uh, the user can process the posting directly from this window and an appropriate message if uh, there are no posting processes for today will be displayed. This setting is updated per user so the implementation can the team of the implementation can use these general settings very well and effectively for per user. These are the windows when the the user will log on. Now upon logging into the company the user gets these windows automatically. User can select this recurring transaction which falls on that day. Here we have only one recurring transaction. I can simply select it and I can execute it and this is the message that I get sales order number 373 generated successfully what I can do I can drill down through this golden arrow here and I get my sales order so we'll try to create the whole scenario from a sales order to delivery and AR invoices we have already seen in the previous slides how to create a recurring transaction for sales order. We will take that switch order through delivery and air invoice. This is the recurring transaction template and uh, will try to create a recurring transaction for a delivery. I have given here the name as DE-301. We will create a new delivery template. What I am doing here is I have taken my customer and I am copying it, copying the information for my delivery from the sales order and I am selecting the sales order that we just created. Now this is the delivery that I am getting. You can see the the customer and the line item here. This is my delivery recurring transaction. I have kept it as daily and everyone. Now upon logging in uh, the system, the person who is responsible for this delivery will get these windows. I'll confirm this delivery for that date. I'll execute it. This is the message that I get delivery number 375 has been generated successfully and this is the delivery that has been created within the system let's create a recurring transaction for AR invoice as well this is my customer this is the AR invoice template AR T01 these are the windows that the person will get who is responsible for creating these AR invoices. Now let's assume that the employee will log on to the company or the system. Confirming this re recurring transaction will give me this message and uh, this is the AR invoice that will be added within the system. We can see that this was my business partner. We started from sales order, delivery, air invoice so we have created the whole relationship map the benefit of a recurring transaction is this thing that it saves time for the user also it is uh, it helps the user because the user does not forgets anything and the system automatically uh, reminds the user to add the documents that are due for that date
or due for those uh, recurring periods.